Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play's Lord of the Fallen. And some things have changed. This is still Silvarius. I can I can actually prove that to you. This is Silvarius. I said prove it to you. Does his name actually appear here? Okay, maybe not. However, this is Silvarius, but he looks a little bit different, and that is because I need to have a little conversation with all of you. If you want to skip to the action, just jump forward a, a couple minutes or so. We just need to have a quick little talk. Uh, last episode, I was perhaps a little bit more negative than I intended to be. And a couple people had responded, stating that, well, it's no wonder you chose one of the classes that state it's an advanced class. Now, I don't pretend to be a very good player at these games. I enjoy them. I play the majority of the Souls likes that come out. But I would never claim I'm anything beyond an average player at best. And when I'm recording, I play even worse, believe it or not. But I don't believe that the class had anything to do with some of my critiques and criticisms that have been coming out in this Let's Play. However, to put those concerns aside, I'm actually now playing currently on the, P uh, the PC. I was on PS5 before. Now this is PC. And again, I was given this copy from my partners at Games Planet. And I also started with a new class, and I don't know if I can actually see what I started as. I forget the name, but it, it's the one that actually started with the shield and the mace. Now, I have a new weapon. I don't have the mace, and that's because in the very early area, in the abandoned Red Cops area, I found quite a bit of loot that I hadn't uh, actually collected before, like the Hallowed Condemnation, a short sword that actually has bleed buildup, which has been working very, very nicely Indeed. Now, this Silvarius is exactly in tune with the other Silvarius in terms of the progression. However, I have been able to level up to level 17. I put some points into Vitality, and I did buy the one ring that I bought on the other Silvarius, the Ring of Duty. And I did enough farming so that I have 5,000 Vigor on my person, and I have enough in Consumable Vigor so that I can finally buy the key over from Stomond. I'm not done talking just yet, so if you've skipped to this point, you may want to skip even further if you don't want to hear it. Now, I have committed to playing this for 10 episodes, and then I'm going to make my own judgment call to decide whether or not this game is worth my time, and I strictly mean my time. I have been throwing some criticisms and critiques at this game. I have also been talking about some of the things that I do like, like the Umbral mechanic I think is really clever, and some of the puzzles and the traversal are really kind of ingenious in, in its implementation, uh, but I haven't sugarcoated some of the things that I haven't liked and some of the quality of life that other Souls-like predecessors that came before it have already figured out in this game has struggled to do so. And I'm not going to stop doing that, but I am on a mission to enjoy this game. I am on a mission to find the positives. Now, if I say some things that you don't like because you are really enjoying this game, and many of you are, and that's great, that's okay. And if you want to voice that down in the comments, that's also okay. What I would ask is that as I'm critiquing this game, you keep a couple things in mind. Number one, if you are loving this game and you hear me say something that you don't agree with and you think that I'm just flat out objectively wrong, do not hesitate to let me know, but don't simply say, Blue, you're wrong. Blue, I don't think you're correct because, and give me a reason. Oh, Blue, I hear you saying that you don't like this mechanic, what about insert other game here? I'm not talking about other games right now. So try not to use the what about isms unless I'm making a direct comparison to uh, the Surge or Elden Ring or Dark Souls or Lies of P. If I make that direct comparison, then absolutely bring it up. But if you simply say yes, but what about the argument loses a lot of credibility. And lastly, if you think I'm being overly harsh, maybe I am, but I'm not doing so because I don't want to love the game. I truly do. And I'm not being overly critical because this isn't a From Software title. I've played plenty of non-From Software Souls like Liza P just recently, the Surge games, absolutely adore them, and even, to a degree, the 2014, 2013, I think, whichever one it was, original Lords of the Fallen. Imperfect, absolutely, it would probably be an understatement, but I enjoyed that game. It doesn't have to have the From Software moniker in order for me to enjoy it. So, all that being said, we're about five minutes in. I'm going to continue to play this at least for a few more episodes to see if I can enjoy it just a bit more. Now, I have not only picked up this 
Hallowed Condemnation, I also found Short Javelins. Now, this is an item I saw, or at least the area that I saw, um, I, I believe in the last episode, I could drop down onto some rafters just outside of Skyrest. Well, I did that in this character and I picked up the Javelin. It's the only loot that I've gotten on this character that I didn't have on the previous Sylvaria. So everything should look pretty similar here. Um, I do have a number of Tinks because, again, my partner's a Games Planet who did gift me this code. They sent me the Deluxe Edition, which I guess that my PS5 had it, but it didn't come with all these Tinks. So I was kind of thinking that I could actually play around. Oh, just got an achievement for that. But look at how cool that is. I like that a lot. So what about on the helm? What can I do with that? Okay, not, not much changes there, but that's already a really, really cool. I like the tinting mechanic. Tinting? Tinting? That's probably what I should say. Anyway, that's a cool mechanic. But as I said, I have enough vigor here that I can... Judgment. Let's make sure these sell for the correct amount, and they do do why don't I only have three of these and one of these is it because the other ones are on my hotbar that might be let me go ahead and fix that up yeah so these ones are here so if I unequip that can I now sell those in radiance judgment yes I can okay so let's sell as many of these as we need which actually looks to be all of them and we'll purchase the pilgrim's perch key there we go Our now I have to say I have been pleasantly surprised with the PC version. When I first got this and I booted it up, it was not running very, very well. However, and this is a huge, huge kudos to the developers. I might not even leave Skyrest for this episode. <laughs> Let's just have a conversation. There is a, one of the developers, name is Saul, and he is in, there's a Discord that content creators were invited to join. I've actually been in there since January. That's how excited I was for this game, okay? I've been in there for nine months waiting for it but anyway there's about a thousand content creators youtubers streamers tiktokers all sorts of us and we are in this private discord with the pr manager and with uh the developer and we're able to share concerns feedback screenshots whatever and they are turning around and they are implementing those changes rapidly and when i say rapidly this game only just came out a few days ago and there have been four large patches for the PC edition, and I think three for the PS5, and two on the Xbox, one is currently waiting. Microsoft tends to be a little bit slower at certifying their patches, so it's not on the dev, the dev side, but that is incredible work. I mean, I have seen things that were mentioned in the Discord in the morning, and that afternoon, they pushed, pushed out a uh, patch in order to fix it, which is just uh, nothing short of incredible. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I have talked enough. We have the key. Let's move on. We're going to go back to the Vestige of Chibui. So we're going to warp. And we are going to... It's Chibui, right? Yeah. Now again, I still don't understand why these Vestiges are ordered the way they are. It, I mean, it's kind of a non-issue. Just kind of an odd, uh, perhaps, oversight. So if you remember in the last episode, we had climbed up here... We did enter the Umbral Realm, uh, but there are a number of enemies. There was an NPC. We didn't really have too much to say. Oh, but I'd mentioned the performance. The performance on the PC has greatly improved. Let me actually show you the settings really quickly. Uh, one thing they recommended was use the auto set feature. So if you're playing on PC and you're having an issue, I know that they've just had uh, NVIDIA's working on, I believe, a new driver for their 4000 series, but they have changed a few things, so it should be crashing less on the 4000 series. But also, uh, this last patch that just went live earlier today had a lot of fixes for AMD graphics cards. Uh, so this is the, uh, my display settings here, my graphics settings, everything set just to auto set. So it's auto detecting, and you know what? It is working pretty darn well, and it... Even with these mid settings that I have, it is working very, very nicely. And it looks great. It really does look great, uh, especially even just compared to the PS5 version. So I did already get that item. That was the uh, bleed resistance palm. I do love this. When you look... Oh, shoot. Someone did warn me about this. Um, that's on me. <laughs> when you are looking 
in the Umbral Realm just using the lamp. If you get hit by one of the enemies, you actually get dragged into the Umbral Realm, which is kind of a terrifying thought. Oh, here's an item I missed before. Empyrean Grenade, wait a second. Is that a throwable? That is a throwable. Uh, one thing that's kind of peculiar, and this isn't this isn't a criticism. I feel like I have to start <laughs> describing what I'm about to say. Just an interesting little tidbit. So you have your your right hand, your left hand. You have your off not your off hand, but your your ranged version. You e you can either have a range like a crossbow, which by the way the crossbow is very good, or you can have your throwing hand. You can't simply switch between them. So if you have your throwing hand, then you can have your throwables equipped. So I have this short javelin, which is really nice. You can even charge it as you hold it back. And now I just got uh, the Empyrean Grenade. And this deals holy damage. Okay. And ammo costs too, so it's the same as the javelin. I might as well put on the bloody hatchet too. Why not, right? Because that has bleed buildup and my sword's doing bleed buildup. I also do have some armor that I should maybe play with. Oh, look at the details on the... Okay. PC version looking very, very nice. Maybe this is all I needed. Maybe I just needed to play with the PC version. I wonder, are there combos when you switch in between the stances? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like you can't actually change stance in between like that, which is okay. Which is just fine. That's where I got the bleed bomb. Look at the pillars with their eyes. Kind of creepy. A lot of enemies down below. Are you going to follow me down? Okay, so what do we have here? Let's kind of... Let's play this one somewhat intelligently. Let's soul flay. Oh, that was silly. I you. I used the mechanic. Well, he was a lot weaker than I thought. I used the mechanic where you can actually throw the corpse. What was that? I haven't adjusted the audio. Maybe I should take a look at that because that was... Very, oh, that's why. Okay, let's uh, just drop this down a little bit. I'm going to leave voice high. Effects bring down to 80. Music. 84. Sorry, I'm doing this on the fly. I should have done this already. But that's the professionalism you've all come to appreciate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Scourge Sister Dealeth? Let's, let's go ahead and talk about me not being ready for a boss fight right now. Oh, she's down there. Hey, she's got a mace. I had one. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some blisters so we can maybe get another soul flay. Do we want to try just a grenade? Oh, wait a minute. You have a parasite. Uh-oh. Parasite's up and to the right, it looks like. Um. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that was interesting. That was actually accidental. Ooh. Okay, heal up. Kick. Oh, she kicks back. Okay, there's the Grievous. Do I have any more Brio Stones? Good hit. Oh, what are you doing? Right, okay. You don't seem too weak to... Holy. I'm not so sure I like what you're doing. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, big, big tracking on that. Definitely need to heal. It. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Alright, I don't think we're gonna win this one. This attempt.
Good hit. Okay. Well, <laughs> I had no idea I was so close to a boss fight. I don't think she's going to be too bad. I like to be more aggressive, but I'd also like to have more healing when I get there. I'm kind of amazed at how nice this PC version is looking on those mid settings. If you saw what, with the auto set, everything's on medium. Which is uh, looking okay. Uh, let's get javelins ready. I think javelins might be a little bit better. But hey, we also went in in umbral. So let's go ahead and let's see. There we go, javelins. So let's not mess around with umbral form, right? Let's just, let's just go down. That was pretty cool, though, that the grenades, the Empyrean grenades, can take out the the parasites like that. I don't know how many times you're going to see me jump. <laughs> it's going to be a lot, though. It's going to be a lot. Yeah. Look, at, I use such a strong attack against you. Do I want to kill the others? Want my vigor. All right. No, 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 blue, 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 blue. You need the lamp. Oh my gosh, blue, you need the lamp. What just blew up? <laughs> I will possibly never know. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal, unfortunately. Okay, there's a good Grievous. No, 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 no. Watch that holy buildup. I'm going to have to heal. Okay, good. Get her down for the Grievous. I am going to heal again. Which seems foolish. Nice thrust attack. Okay, we're going to come back in Umbral, though. No heals. Back up. Okay. Kick her down. No. Okay, do we get her? Nope. Maybe with a charged. We got her. Okay. <laughs> Look at my health. No heals. Skirt Sister Flail, Skirt Sister Leg Wrappings, and a Vested Seed. We got a new flail. Which seems pretty cool. I don't know what exploded in there. I didn't get a chance to see it. I didn't hate that fight. That was kind of cool. Surprising. Another Saintly Quintessence. We can give that to Pieta. To upgrade our Sanguine Eris again. Sit. I like that some of these things are just flowing out of my mouth as if they make sense. I got my Saintly Quintessence to upgrade my Sanguine Eris at Pieta. But it's true. It's exactly what it was. So, I started with the Partisan Flail, and we just got a Scourge Sister Flail. Well, well, well. So, let's, uh, let's compare. 79 attack power, 77. Shockingly lower. 70 bleed buildup, 70 bleed buildup. 
No strength. Oh, no strength requirements. That's actually rather fascinating. But let's let's use it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. I kind of dig that. Do I like the leg wrappings? Not really. <laughs> Not enough left to the imagination, if you ask me. Okay, was there anything else up here? I might as well take care of you. Oh, there's an item. Bloody Aspergillum. Okay, so Aspergillus is a genus of fungus. Is Aspergillum somehow related to that? Was it a weapon? I don't think so. So what... What pray tell was that? Oh, it's a quest item. A hallowed sentinel aspergillum filled with blood. You know, aspergillum actually... I believe this genus of fungus is actually named after that type of shape. Because that's where the spores are produced. It's in a kind of a... A, uh, a vessel-shaped container like that. Oh, I apparently missed an item back then. Unripe berries. Delightful. That's actually good for salmon regen. Uh, I don't really have the uh, desire to deal with all of you. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> it would be nice to find a check Point, or at the very least, one of those skulls that lets me get out of Umbral. Alright, ladder going up. You are an enemy. So we'll just... Oh, Pilgrim's Perch again. That is a nice visceral attack there. Aw, oh, criminy. Oh. <laughs> I like that the ground gives way, but then you can just Oh, I didn't even have to go back up because the item fell with me. Oh, wait, nope. I always forget to cancel that and then I end up wasting some ammo. Uh, before we get that item, see if there isn't, say, a shortcut or something. Carry forward? Not enough. Good. Back up. Okay. You all know my saying, slow and steady. What? I don't know what I'm doing. That's way too far. Walk into it. Beautiful. Okay. I don't trust myself. Jiminy Crickets. Okay. Uh... You actually died. You actually died. Okay. Uh, let's get my lantern back out. Ooh. There's a door. That, that's... I just missed everything. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Um... A little bit scared here. Oh, that actually worked out nicely. Good, good. The reason I'm saying ooh to the door is that I'm hoping that maybe this is my first chance to actually use the key I bought. Ah, it is. It is indeed. Ooh, look at this treasure room. I don't trust it. <laughs> what the heck is... What is that? It's like a parasite coming through that little, like, bell thing. Sacred Redens Resonance Gauntlets. Resonance Garb, Bell, and Leggings. Okay. Nice little armor set. Oh, jeepers. Alright, the Grievous is going to save me here. Oh, wait, why are you so beefy? You are very strong indeed. Back up. Uh, 
All right. I want to take a look at the armor, but I'm actually not safe really to do so. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh That's going to be that's going to be a nope from me. That's going to be a nope from me. Oh. Gee willikers. What is that thing? Obviously mistakes were made. Oh, I was able to make that. I didn't think I would. Uh, what do we got? Just you? Okay, I did run away. I don't know where I am. I'm scared. <laughs> I just want out of the... Um oh, I'm at 2.0 multiplier, by the way. And at 3 is when that really, really creepy Reaper type thing comes calling. Can I drop down here? No. Uh... How do I get home? We move, we move, we move. Yep, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Grab. Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes, here it comes. We're in trouble. Yep. I believe that some of you had said that this is why I couldn't heal. And I can't. Oh, yeah. Look at that big old X on the Sanguinarix. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't have any to use. Help. <laughs> uh. There isn't anything over here. Oh. Whoa. Uh. What? I, I mean, really and truly, what what do what do I do? I, I could try and run all the way back. I have 5,700 vigor. I honestly don't want to lose that. I mean, I'm sure at some point I'm going to have to fight that thing, right? Oh, and you're just marked forever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't follow me up. Everything's just exploding around me. Um, I got to go this way. Did, did, I, did I just make that? Have I just... Oh, hold on, hold on. We're not there yet. That was... That was harrowing. That was very scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're actually going to go back to Skyrest. I want to talk to Pieta. Give her that saintly quintessence. <laughs> Cheapers. Our holy work continues, Lamp Bearer. Oh, bummer. Okay, so it doesn't give me an additional charge, but I do get more HP Hello, recovery. Sanctified vessel. May Aureus' divine radiance flow through me and into you. Okay, wonderful. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, because I didn't... I don't actually think I looked at all of this. Maybe I did. I'm going to actually go into the Umbral Realm here. And talk to Molu. And let's see. Uh, we don't have. We only have the one Umbral Eye still. And we don't have. Any antediluvian chisels yet. No. But what do you sell again? Okay. So Umbral Catalyst. And then some Umbral Spells. Umbral Scourings. Minor Wither Salt. Seething Vigor Skulls. Right. Okay. Okay. So nothing really that I need there. But over here, this altar, the Shrine of the Putrid Mother. So these are, I can't remember what the, are these the plucked eyeballs? They might be, but take a look at this. Down in the bottom right, 5,119,592 out of 7,141,500. That seems to be some sort of community goal. 
Now, I don't know exactly what that means. If I donate, is that going to apply towards the community? And in order to unlock all these, the community has to reach that? That's kind of cool, actually. Um, and since I only have six, I'm just going to go ahead and try to donate those. Oh, you need ten. Never mind. Well, drats. Okay, never mind. I thought that'd be something interesting. But I do have 5,700. That's enough for a level, maybe two. I think just one. But I've been putting a couple points into Radiance. Oh, that's enough. Folks, that's enough. That is enough to use that one catalyst I bought from um, Dunmire. And I would like to try that out. So... How does that work? Oh, I can't even use the Pale Eye Shield. That oh, that's right. 13 Radiance and Inferno. Rejects Blade. Oh, I forgot about the Rejects Blade. That one's interesting. Oh, because it's a fist weapon. That's pretty cool. Uh... Oh, shoot. Did I not? Maybe. You know what? I might not have bought it on this character. And Dunmire's this way. Let me go see. Oh. Okay. So there's a symbol when they have something new to talk about, I guess. Oh, never mind. It's the bloody Aspergillum. While even the handling of such items is objectionable, all facets of this heterodoxy must be exposed. Oh, all right. You'll serve a higher purpose, Crusader. I didn't buy it. Okay. So let's buy that. The Orient Preacher Catalyst. I also have not enough. Yes, I do. It's, a, it's only 500. A Radiant Flare that damages enemies directly ahead. All right. And I could even get Healing Radiance. But for now, Darkness. let's figure out how we equip spell. I actually don't know how it works. <laughs> I was going to say, I have a feeling. No, no, I don't. Um, It's probably this, right? Yes. Okay. So then we put spells on. Okay. And I can't use that until I'm 18 anyway. But if we put on Radiant Flare... That's really cool. That's really very cool. All right. This is by far, by far the most fun I've had in this game so far. I, I, it might be my attitude. It might be that I'm, I'm well rested. I, do, I don't know. What I do know is that this has been fun and we're going to keep going for just a little bit. Just a little bit. See if the good times can keep rolling. In between this episode and the next, I am going to play around a little bit with... Uh... Oh, gosh. What are we calling this one? It's not Fashion Souls. Also, there's an item right there. And I can walk right into it. And it's old bucket head. And it's <laughs> a broken bucket. Condemned cage head. Whoa. Broken bucket. That's a weapon. That is that is not a terrible. It's a fist weapon. Right. <laughs> okay. That is great. Not mad about that in the slightest. Tell you what, one thing this game has absolutely nailed. And that is the Umbral Realm. It's scary. You don't want to be there longer than you have to. At least I don't. And I'm just so happy that I get to be in here without worrying about Umble Realms. I don't still don't know why I exploded there before, but I guess that's a problem for, for future blue. Oh, careful, don't fall off. It does look like there's some ledge protection, which is always welcome.
So I don't really need to hold up my lamp because I was already in here in full umbral. Now, is this... Okay, just to blit. Can I actually... Oh, wait a minute. It looks like I can use a seed here. It's blinking, so I can't. Is this an... Is this another place I can do it? Is it anywhere there's these flowers? I don't know how limited they are, so I don't know that I want to use one. Let's let's forge on ahead. I mean, just the fact that there's these moths here, though. All right, you know what? Just because I need to learn, can I use one here? No, only on Umbral Flower Reds, which this looks to be. Am I crazy? Alright, I thought the the moth. Oh, right here? Oh. Gross. <laughs> I guess we might as well rest just to set our spawn point, yeah. Okay. This zone's got some pretty cool visuals. Ow, and also why? Oh, you up there? Really? Okay. I'm gonna fight Radiance with Radiance. Uh, okay, Chad. You don't mind that. You don't mind that. Alright, run away, run away, run away. Nice. You've got quite... Good. Quite a bit of a... Uh, dagger avoidance, huh? I don't know what I'm trying... Poise? Posture? This is funny. I can just use the vestige seedling. Uh oh Perfect. Well, we almost got him. And I dare say we do got him. Oh. Do some of the blisters actually blow up? I wouldn't mind. And this, again. Opinion. I wouldn't mind the ability to actually have... And maybe this is overkill, but... Allow me to have the catalyst and a throwing weapon equipped or something like that. Because right now, frankly, I want to be able to just switch between both of them. Uh, let's do javelin. Ooh, so close. Please don't. Please don't try and push, push me. Oh, at some point I gotta be able to upgrade my weapons too, right? I need a blacksmith. Plain shield? I mean, is it better than the partisan shield that I have? Uh, yeah, actually it, it is. All right. Uh, all right. All these moths here. It's... In fact, my my lamp is glowing. Yep. So I need to go into Umbral to cross this. Ugh. There is a bridge there, though, that I can knock down. So let's enter this unholiest of worlds. And immediately we're just going to drop down. Kick that plank. There we go.
What's down here? With this little dining area. Who's over here just eating? Common Orion prayer. Is that a gesture? Let's see. Can I... That was greetings. I didn't actually want to do that. Now, Liza P, and, and this isn't me making a direct comparison. Oh no, now I feel like I'm just defending myself all the time. Liza P had character interactions with gestures. I wonder if this game will as well. Now this one has an online component. So it's entirely possible that the gestures are just for those online components, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Just curious. Okay, so that one didn't explode. Yeah, I figured as much. All right, come on. Empyrean grenade? Uh-oh. You don't seem to hate that. Oh, jeepers. Ouch. Oh, wow. There we go. There's a Grievous on you. You kind of have to get the parries to get that Grievous, huh? Alright, got that kill. And what'd you drop? Small de small derelium. I uh, tell you what, let's. I do want to play around with that umbral spell more. Uh, I can leave. I can leave uh, the umbral realm right here, which I plan on doing post haste quickly now, quickly. I mean, it's a simple little spell, but it's fun. Cool animation. Alright, feel ever so slightly safer. Ladder up. Can I... Oh, I definitely don't want to drop down there. No, 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 no. Uh, but let's just take a... Hold on. Take a quick peek. Oh. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, it's kind of disorientating sometimes. Maybe I need to learn not to let go of that lamp too soon. Defaced ring, okay. Ooh, there's an item way over there that I missed. Increases vitality attribute. Ooh. Should we do get rid of max stamina? For more vitality? That's three points of vitality. I think the answer is a resounding yes. Oh. I'm mad that I don't have that item. How long would that take to go back? Also, was it blinking because there's a, a flower bed there? I don't feel the need to have one right there. Then again, an enemy coming up might greatly disagree with that decision. Uh, can I walk here carefully? Where was that item? Not that far, but then again... Are you under there? How? Wait. I wonder if... Did an enemy fall down there? I see it.
Oh, wait, right here? Oh. Okay. Uh, careful now. I hallowed bow and pulsing arrows. That sounds kind of... Was this a one-way trip? Ah, oh, crud. <laughs> no, it's not a one-way trip. Wait, what? Oh, did I get pulled? I think I got hit. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's how you get to that item. Okay. Oh, wow. I, seriously, they did such a terrible job with the Umbral Realm. And by terrible, I mean really good because it's terrifying. It's very unsettling. All right, let's go up. Oh, give me the Grievous. Rude. Oh, so rude. Oh, you've got a parasite. Good, perfect. Don't push me off. Oh, you. There's an item down there. Way down there. Can I get back? <laughs> Actually, it shouldn't be hard because I'm not in Umbral. I do have the bucket heads, but they're not they're not too bad. Oh. No, you just lost all of your withering. Oh, good golly. You know what? I want this. I want to. I want to find this. I've been meaning to show this off for a while now. And actually, it is it up or is it back? It looks like it's back. Oh, drats! This might be okay. This might actually work out. Might not though. That's unfortunate. Oh, it's you. I don't trust you, so you gotta go. Sorry, friend. Oh! Oh, don't do that. Dead. Okay, well, Umbral. Oh, I really want to get him. Kick. And kick. Kick. Oh my gosh. I don't know. That's not going to be enough to get him. Not even close. Goodness gracious. Oh. He just got stronger, didn't he? Oh, did, hey, remember when I had some vigor I was going for? Ah, uh, well. Okay, let's just, just get back up. Okay. Let's try this again. Now, if there's another lamp, wait, oh, you have my vigor. 
Do I care? I'm supposed to. Are you? Jeez, from across the map. And you're still shooting. Alright, I'm gonna have to just forgo it. There's not much in there. What are you doing? Ooh. Why can't I get these parries on you? Oh, that is so quick. That's too quick. I hate that that caster is still still coming after me though. He is aggressive. What are you going to do? Okay. I think we got him. Good. Good, not great. I say not great because that was not a very good fight. I used... Oh, I used all my healing. Uh-oh. You know what? Don't you do it. Did I get you? Yep. I had to just keep moving because otherwise that other, yeah, that other caster was going to do exactly what he does, which is cast. You know what I could do if I'm quick? Oh, actually... Oh, I can't use that. Let's use let's use the bow. Wait, what? Why can't I? I actually don't know why I can't. Oh, because I need to. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now you go. I got a hallowed praise. That looks pretty neat. What was that? That has more bleed buildup. This is a short sword, but it's actually... Oh, look at that. Hallowed praise and hallowed condemnation. Wait. That's holy? <gasps> what? What if I do this? Uh, I might have just found a new way to play. Haha. <laughs> Bleed build up with some, some holy on top? I don't see why not. Oh, I'm just climbing, and there's an item way, way, way at the bottom I want to get. Also, can I pick up some of the vigor from here? Yes, I can. Also, see that platform going all the way out into the middle? Oh my gosh, did you see how quick... Uh-oh. You gotta go. Yeah. 
just take you out. Yikes. Uh, hmm. I don't have any more Brio stones, do I? I need to buy some. That's actually good damage. You do have to remember to reload. Oh, stopped you. Okay. That is a remarkable combination. I'm very glad I have it. Oh no. Is this is it umbral time? Let's see. Oh, it's umbral time. Don't touch me. <laughs> Get away from me. Is there like a ladder here? No? Uh Okay. Get your health back. That has been withered. Seriously, that is just cutting through them. Oh shoot, actually. Should I have just jumped over? Is that what I was supposed to do? Oh wait, I have already done that. This is that's just an enemy or an item that the enemy dropped. Well, still worth getting, I guess. Maybe it's a Brio Stone. It's a Bell Staff. <laughs> I have that. Oh, there, we got some. We got some maneuvering coming up. So super gross. It's actually, we're not too far from a beacon. Oh shoot, what just shot at me? This is, this is so grotesque. A couple items down there. Very clearly missed. And unfortunately, they're going to very clearly continue to be missed. For now, at least. Oh. I can't be so afraid of blocking. Not everything has to be a perfect. Because you do get quite a lot of health back from the wither mechanic. Uh-oh. Thorn Crimson Rector. I think I already have a Rector Sword. Didn't I get that after defeating that one crazy moth creature? Something's happening. Something's happening. Yep. Oh, shoot. You... Let's go ahead and talk about the things you didn't need. Dead rats. Okay. All right. I think I think at that point I should probably call it a part there. Um, played for just about an hour and kind of lost track of time. Might be the best thing I've said about this game so far. So, uh, if you watch this, congratulations. You, you stuck it out, honestly, a lot further than I thought many of you would. I'm enjoying myself. I'm still cautiously optimistic, but I'm optimistic. Um, no. No. Not these pants, though. <laughs> Definitely not these pants. Better. Much better. Right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you're still enjoying. Because I can safely say I am right now. And I will, in fact, see you next time.